Well, I guess it's time enough after uh, playing with this thing for a few weeks, excuse me, to uh, kind of review it. Uh, it's, you know, it's a K2 EMF reader, electromagnetic field reader, made in USA. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a superior product, but it is uh, USA made. Uh, as far as the casing outside, I'm sure the electronics are from Japan, but that's okay. J uh, Japan makes pretty good electronics as far as I'm concerned. But, um, yeah, so I had this, and the reason I bought it, again, was to uh, check energy around um, some items I have. I have a couple items that... You just feel something about them when you hold them, and you know I'm not getting weird in in the videos. But uh, when you collect antiques and you've been around things as long as I have uh, this business, you you kind of tend to feel things about certain items, and uh, maybe a little bit of a connection to them, and you don't know why. Um, but that's why I got it. Plus, if I go to clean out houses or barns or anything, if I hear unusual things, a lot of people wonder, and I've been asked all kinds of questions about what I think about spirits attaching themselves to um, inanimate objects, you know, tables, chairs, uh, favorite lamps, you know, even favorite chairs and things like that. But I bought this, and uh, I don't know why my phone is being a little buggy today. There we go. But this has a switch on here. You turn it on. Kind of goes through some ranges. Now... EMF, electromagnetic fields. This is something that I've read up about just to kind of refresh my memory. Um, but electromagnetic fields are something that's natural. Uh, they occur regular outdoors, indoors. It also occurs when you have faulty wiring, um, high voltage wiring near your home. Like if you have um, the towers, the metal towers that push a lot of voltage across uh, from one area to another, from substations, from PG&E, or whatever your electric company is, they'll tend to be a little bit higher in the areas. Um, in the explanation of why this works, and why people who are alleged ghost hunters uh, use these, I've always had my doubts until I got this item. Now, I don't think occurrences happen every single day. I think they're random. I think there's certain times of the year or certain periods of uh, day or night that these things happen. <clears throat> I would say anybody that finds something every single time they go out is it's false. They're making something up somehow. Uh, and there's lots of ways to do it. Now, these meters, I've gone through every wall. I put it up on every wall. I kind of ran it across the walls all the way top to bottom. I went out to our power box, and it goes up to maybe the next phase here um, to, to this one. Now you can see how, if I get my hand close, but if I touch this, see, it's sensitive and it will go off, okay? So if somebody's holding this in their hands and they're saying, oh, touch this, they could be tapping it on the back to get higher readings. That's just the way the electronics are, okay? I don't trust those. Someone who sets it down like this and they start asking questions about something or they set it near something and leave it for a while, you're okay. Now, I found that I can get this to go to the 20 plus milligauss uh, reading if I set it on top of my cell phone while I have a video playing. Um, watch, we're going to move it close. Okay, see, you can't see. It's just like inches away. It doesn't react to it, Okay. Uh, I did a little bit. But if I set it on top of my wife's iPad while she's using it with my cell phone, man, that goes to red and it stays. Okay, so that's electromagnetic field that's coming off of the products. We can see that's caused by electricity, the internal circuitry, and, and, and things like that. Now, if you live in a house, okay, you know, I even turned off and on the light switches. Uh, there's a power surge when you do that. I had a couple... Uh, Power switches do that. Light switch, you know, plugging, unplugging things. Uh, didn't set it off, but the ones who 
set it off a little bit higher. I'm, I'm replacing those because they're starting to get unshielded and I don't want, you know, I have an older home from the 1920s, so I don't want anything to happen uh, to my home. Now, I've seen some investigations where they've had um, a whole lot of amperage coming into the home. They have a shop in their basement. They have a lot of other things and it causes hallucinations, hallucinations uh, high voltage uh, electronic readings in your home, even magnetic readings in your home will um, cause spikes in electromagnetic magnetic field. Some people don't believe in that, but you know, we, we, we have electric impulses running through our body. And that's what they say spirits are. They say spirits are a manifestation. I'm sorry, I'm having a problem with my speech today. Manifestations of electromagnetic power. And there's things you can do to encourage them to come closer to devices like this, where they can draw from the battery's power, which takes a 9 volt, it's enclosed. Now, um, the only thing I could see that would set off this, okay, I'm going to show you an example. I have it's pretty powerful magnets. They're not, whoa, okay, those are, these ones I'm about to show you aren't, okay? So you see these little white, these are magnetics. They're not really earth magnets, but they're similar. Okay, you see how, okay, I could put them right up to this a little bit, and they won't maybe set that off a little bit. Okay, separate them. And now you can see the magnetic field. Let's cut now. Watch when I let them go. See, it's the power that's coming off of those. Now, take those away. And I'm not taking these out. I need to stick into everything on my table. This metal earth magnets, rare earth magnets. Slowly move them in. And now you see nothing's happening. You get it close, and you start moving it. It'll go up a little bit. Okay, rare earth magnet. See, anywhere along the side. Okay, let me go back and try these other ones since I didn't go down the side. These are just regular powered magnets. These aren't earth magnets. See, they'll do the same thing. Now, if we turn this over, I'm going to show you a spot. Sorry. Show you a spot here. See this little area from here to here. This is where it reads the magnetic I'll kind of leave it. I don't have a helper today to do this. But I'm going to leave it just like this. Okay. I'm going to get my cell phone close. I can't, I can't show you cell phone. But it'll do the same thing. Now that's why I put it flat on the wall. Okay. Now. You see how that's going up. It'll still make an unsteady stream. Where these lights will come back and forth. So you would need. If someone was faking it. They would need someone on the other side. Or some type of device. And you can make them that would uh, put out a steady stream to go back and forth and make those light up. Now, same with the rare earth magnets. Let me see, it'll start pulsing when it gets close, but you know, look at there. Now, see, it's close to the battery pack, so these earth magnets are actually drawing power out of my magnet, and they are making that go as it is. Okay, I'm gonna combine these with the earth magnets. Now see how far away it's reading it if it's sideways. This is what it'll do in your wall if you have a unshielded wire or something's nicked in your wall. You can get these and it'll read the electromagnetic field that it's putting on. Now see, it's drawing a little bit more power from the battery. Okay, so basically the only way is you're going to get a solid good reading from these EMF, these, these K2 EMF detectors. Okay, not necessarily from the top. See, you're getting them from behind. Okay, so, now, I don't say that all the paranormal people online do this, but you can have prosthetic fingers made where they look really good, but you can get one that fits over slightly long to the regular eye, it won't do it, but you know, if they're standing there and they move their finger and all of a sudden something happens, <gasps> we're getting a spike on the EMF, oh, the K2's really going, okay, look for the ones like uh, Kevin, the ghost, because uh, Kevin the Ghost Custodian, okay, um, Ghost Hunting Custodian. I keep forgetting the name, but he's a good guy. <laughs> but his name is Kevin, so he, he he does it where they'll lean this up against something and they'll leave it. Like, I have some metal locks. I have some cufflinks, and okay, they'll leave it like this. Okay, now you see how my 
Yeah, let's go through. I can put them underneath where the sensors are. Really, the sensors. I can do it with. Now, see, the earth magnets are touching the metal here. So you can get a reading doing this, but you notice how close it's getting. Okay. There's ways to fake it, but there's ways that you could tell people. There's only two people I watch, and that's Kevin and uh, Franco from Franco TV. Everybody else, I really don't watch. You know, I, I watch uh, Slapped Ham and uh, Top 5 Ghost Adventures, or, you know, Ghost Videos, Top 5 Ghost Videos. And they just put, you know, uh, Slapped Ham and the other uh, videos guy just puts together videos of people who do ghost hunting. They'll post something on their channel, and he'll feature it. Just for content and things, but you know, some of them are interesting. But there was a guy that was doing some security that uh, I kind of helped oust a little bit out of the uh, uh, paranormal investigations because I figured out that he was uh, faking his sightings and the screams and everything else. And uh, that's what I like to do. But uh, Kevin, the ghost hunting custodian. And Franco TV, they don't do that. These guys are genuine with what they see. And, you know, uh, even more so, Kevin, the ghost hunting custodian, um, is, I think, the best. I'd, I'd rate him number one on there. They don't dress up. You know, I'm not going to start dressing up in uh, black from head to toe and painting my eyebrows and eyelashes just so I appear more sinister out looking for spirits. But I want to do something that's a genuine study of something and not uh not mislead anybody and if i think there's a feasible way that these meters are going off when i'm checking my items i'm going to mention it too so i'm not turning the channel into a paranormal channel but this is something that's going to be kind of cool for you know i might even have people bring me things that they say is haunted i bought a old doll that's creepy looking that the people said was haunted but i haven't had time to check it out i haven't had time to check you know to, to, to look at anything and, uh, and i'm going to kind of see if they got anything attached to them. Then we can kind of go from there, kind of confirm some suspicions I have. But when I get closer to the items, I'll tell you a story that goes along with it. You know, it's kind of kind of strange, kind of unnerving a little bit. And I don't like talking about it because it was so strange. But, um, so be looking for those and be looking for, you know, some videos. Maybe I could entertain people more where they actually watch the videos and comment i like to have some commenting and interaction with people just to further my knowledge of things people have so it's one of the reasons why i do this is so i can uh, interact with people that i couldn't normally interact with in my hometown so you know we do have some videos coming up i'm going to do a video in a little bit with the uh, cast iron skillets i found i've still got to clean and season those because they're going to be for home use I even found some old uh, erasers yesterday, and a uh, quick peek there, it's an old 30s, 40s uh, movie camera, an uh, 8mm reel camera, reel to reel there, uh, works, started smoking because there's so much dust in there, so I gotta clean it, but back to that, but yeah, there's gonna be other videos coming up, and like I said, I was just, I'm, I'm busy, so whenever I have a chance in between uh, to actually work on this. I actually need to get some stuff listed and start making some money again because uh, I haven't really sold anything in a couple months. So that should do it. I, I thank you guys for watching uh, this video. Hopefully you like and subscribe. Hopefully you comment and uh, I can talk to somebody. Um, that's all I've got. Y'all stay safe out there. You know, check on your friends, check on your relatives, wash your hands often. Uh, don't get the COVID or the variant. So everybody stay safe and we'll catch you on down the road.